When Pluto was reclassified as a dwarf planet in 2006, public interest seemed to fade almost overnight. A world that had once been proudly listed as the ninth planet was suddenly viewed as a minor, frozen leftover at the edge of the solar system. To many, Pluto became little more than a cold speck drifting in darkness, assumed to be inactive and scientifically unremarkable. But that assumption is now rapidly collapsing. New observations and advanced data analysis, combined with insights from modern space telescopes, are transforming Pluto's image entirely. Far from being silent or lifeless, Pluto is emerging as one of the most intriguing and complex objects in our cosmic neighborhood. What was once dismissed as a frozen relic now appears to be a dynamic world, possibly still evolving beneath its icy exterior. One of the strongest symbols of this transformation is Sputnik Planitia, the vast, heart-shaped region dominating Pluto's surface. This immense plane of frozen nitrogen is not only visually striking, but scientifically extraordinary. Its sheer size and mass are so significant that they influence Pluto's orientation in space, effectively shifting the dwarf planet's balance. Worlds this small were never expected to show such large-scale activity. Even more astonishing is what may lie beneath this frozen surface. Scientists now believe that deep below Sputnik Planitia's thick ice shell, Pluto could harbor a subsurface ocean. This hidden reservoir of liquid water may exist thanks to heat generated inside Pluto itself. Although Pluto is incredibly distant from the Sun, warmth produced by the slow decay of radioactive elements in its rocky core could be sufficient to prevent all internal water from freezing solid. If confirmed, this would completely overturn the idea of Pluto as a dead world. Liquid water, even buried far below ice, dramatically increases the potential for complex chemistry, and possibly biology. On Earth, water is essential for life. Its presence elsewhere instantly raises profound questions about habitability beyond our planet. Evidence supporting this possibility comes from Pluto's surface itself. Images from past missions revealed networks of cracks, ridges, and fault lines stretching across the icy crust. These features resemble tectonic activity, suggesting that Pluto's interior is still exerting force on its surface. Such signs point to a world that is not frozen in time, but slowly reshaping itself even today. Pluto's unusual relationship with its largest moon, Charon, adds another layer to the mystery. Rather than orbiting in a simple planet-moon system, Pluto and Charon revolve around a shared center of gravity in space, forming a true binary system. This gravitational interaction creates tidal forces that may flex Pluto's interior, generating additional heat and helping sustain internal activity. Some scientists have gone even further, proposing that Pluto's hidden ocean could host microscopic life forms. These hypothetical organisms would exist in complete darkness, under extreme pressure, and at temperatures far below anything familiar on Earth. Yet life on our planet has repeatedly proven its ability to adapt to extreme environments. If life could arise under such alien conditions, it would dramatically expand our understanding of what biology is capable of. Adding intrigue to these ideas are unusual chemical signals detected in Pluto's environment. Certain heat patterns and molecular traces appear difficult to explain using simple geological processes alone. While no conclusions can yet be drawn, these anomalies have fueled speculation about complex chemistry, or processes we have not yet learned to recognize. Pluto's origin may also play a role in its ongoing activity. During the early solar system, violent collisions were common. These impacts could have generated intense heat, melting internal ice and setting the stage for long-term geological evolution. If Pluto formed in such a turbulent environment, its internal warmth may have been sustained for billions of years, locked beneath an icy shell. Despite its extreme distance from the Sun, Pluto possesses an atmosphere that is anything but static. Though incredibly thin, millions of times less dense than Earth's, 
It behaves in ways that continue to surprise scientists. Composed primarily of nitrogen, with smaller amounts of methane and carbon monoxide, Pluto's atmosphere expands and contracts as the dwarf planet moves along its elongated orbit. When Pluto drifts closer to the Sun, surface ices sublimate into gas, thickening the atmosphere. As it moves farther away, those gases freeze and fall back onto the surface like cosmic snow. Within this fragile envelope, sunlight triggers complex chemical reactions. Ultraviolet radiation breaks apart methane molecules, allowing them to recombine into larger, more intricate organic compounds known as tholines. These substances slowly settle onto Pluto's surface, creating the planet's distinctive reddish-brown haze. On Earth, similar chemistry is linked to the building blocks of life, suggesting that even in Pluto's frigid environment, the ingredients for prebiotic processes may be forming naturally. Pluto's largest moon, Charon, adds another dimension to this story. Its surface bears enormous canyons, some stretching for hundreds of kilometers, dwarfing Earth's Grand Canyon. These features point to a violent past, one shaped by internal expansion, tectonic stress, or the freezing of a once liquid interior. Charon's fractured crust suggests that it, too, may have once been geologically active. Even more intriguing are Charon's reddish polar regions. Scientists believe these stains may originate from Pluto itself. As Pluto's atmosphere escapes into space, some gases are captured by Charon's gravity. Over time, these gases freeze onto Charon's poles and undergo chemical transformation, darkening the surface. This process reveals a rare form of planetary interaction, an exchange of material that binds Pluto and Charon together not just gravitationally, but chemically. This deep connection reinforces the idea that Pluto and Charon should be viewed as a paired system rather than separate worlds. Their shared evolution may have shaped their interiors, surfaces, and atmospheres in ways we are only beginning to understand. Within the Kuiper Belt, a vast region beyond Neptune filled with icy remnants from the solar system's formation, Pluto stands as a striking exception. Most Kuiper Belt objects appear frozen and inert, unchanged for billions of years. Pluto, by contrast, shows evidence of flowing glaciers made of nitrogen ice, surface renewal, atmospheric cycles, and possibly even internal oceans. It behaves less like a fossil and more like a living geological system. This raises profound questions. Could Pluto possess a magnetic field generated by motion within its interior? If so, such a field might help shield its atmosphere and subsurface ocean from solar wind and cosmic radiation. Could gravitational nudges from other distant objects, or even passing stars, be providing just enough energy to keep Pluto's interior from going completely dormant? And if Pluto is capable of maintaining internal activity for billions of years, how many other distant worlds might be doing the same, unnoticed in the darkness? The implications stretch far beyond Pluto itself. If small, cold worlds can remain active and chemically complex, then the potential habitats for life in the universe may be far more numerous than once imagined. Habitability may not depend solely on proximity to a star, but on internal heat, chemistry, and time. Pluto's story forces scientists to rethink long-held assumptions. It challenges the idea that size determines significance, or that distance equals lifelessness. It blurs the line between planet and moon, between active world and frozen remnant. Most importantly, it reminds us that classification does not define reality, nature does. Pluto is no longer a forgotten name struck from a list. It is a world of unanswered questions, a place where geology, chemistry, and time intersect in unexpected ways. Each new observation deepens the mystery rather than resolving it, hinting that Pluto may still be revealing only the surface of its true nature. The real question is no longer whether Pluto matters, but what it has been quietly preserving beneath its ice for billions of years. As future missions are planned and new telescopes come online, 
Pluto stands as a symbol of discovery waiting just beyond the familiar. The solar system is not fully mapped, not fully understood, and not finished surprising us. Its most transformative lessons may come not from giant planets or blazing stars, but from small worlds enduring in the cold. Pluto is not a relic of the past. It is a message from the edges of possibility. And humanity has only just begun to learn how to listen.